Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing well today. There has been a massive, massive new update rolled out. Not only did they release the game on the Switch, if you have a Switch sitting around collecting some dust, if you've been hesitating to pick up Rogue Legacy 2 or just want to take it on the move, now may be the time. But they've also rolled out a ton of updates to the game itself at the same time. We're going to be taking our save file to New Game Plus 12. The reason I'm showing you this screen is because they've added a lot of new environmental burdens. And we're, of course, going to be turning these on. Uh, burden of the Fison Mining. New creatures emerged from the earth. Wonderful. Finding worms is always easy. I've always said that. Oh, and masks. More, more masks. Of, of course. Perfect. Oh, more mages in the Stygian study. That one is actually kind of funny. The burden of the Kerguian sacrifice. We'll turn that on as well. More fish. Of course. Of course. And then the royal guard are being added into the starting castle. Things are certainly going to be interesting. What are our burdens right now? 36. We only need 22 to advance, so we're still pretty far ahead of the curve. Another thing I wanted to take a look at is they have released new weapons for subclasses. All I have to do is unlock these and then we can have them forever. I figured for the next few episodes, we're going to try to dedicate some time to each of these to give them a proper show off in their own video. So let's just start from the top. First up is going to be the Shadow Spies. A small cut will do. That sounds like a poison weapon for the assassin. Assassin. Nice. It's going to change them to the Eventide Spy Masters. I'll go ahead and buy that and we'll set ourselves up. So just like our other alternate weapons, all we have to do is press up on the deep pad here and you can see it totally swaps out what this assassin is using. So these are the dragon fangs. Attacks multiple times, applying poison with each strike. Last strike deals bonus damage, reduces cooldowns, applies burn, and skill crits. I've also picked up a new spell. This is the Lucent Beam. Holt channel can be aimed. Skill crits after 1.5 seconds. This is brand new. I don't know what it does. We'll give it a go. One thing that would go really well with this setup, since we're going to be applying poison, would be these amplification runes. Increases the duration of status effects. I'm going to make sure I have these equipped. It looks like I have a little bit more wiggle room to buy some more. We just maxed out our money here. That's not too bad. I just took some of my quenching runes away. We're probably a little overkill on these things anyway. So with that, how long does the... Let's see what the attack is like. <laughs> Bro, that slaps! Not only do you get the poison dot, you get the burn as well. Okay, that's a very long animation lock, though. Kind of like the Ronin, where you go in, and I'm wiggling the stick back and forth this whole time. I cannot turn away. So you're really committing to those attacks, but it seems like once you land them, that's going to be a significant amount of damage. Uh, let's check out the spell. That's actually kind of cool. The spell almost looks like it should be causing some status effects itself. That critical hit damage is pretty good. I could see that being a really effective magic ability. Get yourself an Astrologian and go to town. Astronomer? I forgot what they're called in this game. <laughs> right, heading into the castle, I guess it's going to be our goal to take down the first boss with our first character. We're going to get to see how good the damage is. That skeleton taken down immediately with a single combo. We also hover in the air when we do this, and it is pretty lenient with attacking underneath our characters uh, as well. Assassin was already a pretty good class. This may take it over the edge for me. I really like the idea i shouldn't say that we're just getting into the run obviously but i really like the idea of a poison assassin i think that's super duper cool we're gonna fade out from danger as the enemy was throwing some fireballs our way that potion's going to not do anything um honestly i just felt good to have it we're gonna head to the left we're gonna meet a so my initial damage isn't very high like running into that guy he didn't really care too much that i was here doing anything but if i could kite around the room it seems like it does enough damage like it's i'm getting a little micro freeze i need to check something okay everything should be good now sometimes when i restart my computer my uh 
My Elgato cam link freaks out with my camera that I'm using. Yeah, I got a complicated setup over here. It has not been made easier over the years. <laughs> we do take down the knight above us. Try to get some dot damage on this little dude here. Enemies are actually higher level than me on this difficulty, believe it or not. One thing I should probably be attempting to do is be a little more aggressive on the start when we attack an enemy. If I can get 10 stacks of poison on a target as opposed... Uh, oh! One thing to note as well, I can cancel our attack with a dash really at any time. But if I commit and we get that 10 stack, it is going to really amp up the damage we're dealing quite a lot. There's a big difference between the dot damage on 5 and 10. Let's try to get out of this guy's way. Hit him with a little bit of magic as well. The magic does seem to go through floors. That is a very powerful ability, in fact. Stack up some poison on that crossbow on the far side. We take it down, no problem. As we fall, we're going to see an axe nearby. Uh, we might have to... I'm just going to reset this room, make our lives a little bit easier. Masks are scary in general, but masks are even scarier when you have two dots applied to them because they teleport around so erratically. This one's also spawning in Seekers, making our lives a little bit more difficult. He's not the only one, though. The uh, starfish in the middle is doing the same thing with Seekers. Lots of fireballs coming down. We can just sidestep some of those. We take down another Seeker coming through the wall. I might have to fade. Ugh, took way too much damage there. Hopefully, we're going to be able to find some food soon. Assassin is one of the squishiest classes in the game after all, but we've been taking a lot of hits trying to figure out these new mechanics. Lots of black roots in here, chest on the far side. Something's seeking me from over there as well. This might be a big elite room. So that's just kind of one enemy, huh? He's not really doing too much. Painting to our left. This is looking kind of odd. I'm not seeing any cracks for me to venture into, though. As the knight moves forward, we'll focus them first. I don't want to aggravate the painting just yet. Luckily, they threw that javelin above my head. Seeker's coming out from the mage. We push onto him. Hey, this isn't that bad. It's definitely not a burst damage setup, and I'm starting to wonder if this will actually be good versus bosses or not. We'll be able to keep the poison stacks up all the time, but there are certain runes that we can find inside the castle or relics that we can find inside the castle that can basically make that happen with most classes as well. And it never like carries the run. It's just kind of a nice benefit to have. This painting is proving to be a little more difficult to combo our full thing onto, but we managed to get in there and take him down. Chest up to the far left is unprotected now. We're going to gobble it up. Moving to the right, just one axe in here. I do need to kind of be careful if we break all the platforms. That could be problematic. Uh, but with our jump distance... Oh, I also equipped another dash rune. We have three dash runes now and three double jump runes. So I really shouldn't be taking damage like that. That's pretty bad. Eyeball does have the TNT FX, but doesn't get a chance to hit me with it, unfortunately, for him. What might be fun with this is picking up the Spore Burst Relic as well. That would allow us to not only poison a target, but then run away and have that target explode, potentially dealing damage to other nearby enemies at the same time. That area is cut off from me right now. Let's check this tall place. Looks like just environmental traps trying to stop us as we scoop up a little bit of gold inside. I feel like I've done more of the castle than I actually have. Lose no health is the challenge. Let's make sure we don't lose any before it even gets started. Try to get some damage on the starfish. He does hit me with an off angle. Here, we can push this. So the flame is only applied if I hit an enemy with the entire combo. If I'm seeing that correctly. Uh, we need to... Do I need to kill one more target? Yes. Before I'm going to be able to stealth again. Get out of that bomb. And we'll try to use that to our advantage moving through this. So start the time. And I'm going to pick left. And hope it was the correct side. It was not. And of course we lose because of that. Oof. Feels bad. I've only passed that one like once, I think. That is a very hard challenge. There's probably some very clear safety spots. Ooh. 
sometimes with those paintings, if you just attack them with anything, it kind of interrupts the mom their, their momentum and backs them up a little bit. I was starting to wonder if I could uh, potentially just juggle them away from me, but it seemed like he was still advancing, and maybe only that fire attack on the end would have been enough to stop him. We can stack up the full poison here on this dude. Actually, pretty good slicing in general. Is the poison damage going to be enough? Yes, it is. He's taken down. We'll fade away as that bolt was flying towards us. Dagger above us as well, sending down some projectiles. Most of those are blocked by the wall. Painting proving to be a little difficult as we try to scoot away. That poison damage will be enough. That starfish pretty weak as well. The one on the left significantly more leveled up. But we take it down. No problem. Oh, I see it this time. Chest on the far end. We need to make sure we don't stand still as we're traversing through this. We gobble that up. No problem. Sometimes you'll have a variation of this where they also put spikes underneath your feet at the end. <laughs> this is the relic I was actually talking about. And funny enough, it combos well with fast attacking characters like ourselves. I don't think it would be worth it for us today because we could just apply poison in one combo rather than two combos. Uh, we're already going to have max combos, uh, max poison stacked up against enemies where it really matters. What could be amazing with this setup is the boxing bell. That could be great. Heavy stone doesn't make any sense for us. Let's go ahead and reroll these. Monkey paw, that's new. This one's new too. Mammon's bounty. Oof. The unknown is always scary, isn't it? Let's see how it works. Gain a random three relics and a bonus 30 resolve per Mammon's Bounty. So we got the increased, well, I could just look at this menu. We got the, from the top, Lotus Petal increases your mana pool by 50, deal more magic damage. Perfect. The Body Buffet. Enemies have a higher chance of dropping food. We've seen that carry runs before. And the Glowing Ember could potentially be really good. Uh, glowing Ember deals bonus damage every sixth attack, right? But, oh, this is going to get dicey in here. Look how fast we attack. We're actually building the damage up on that super rapidly. That could be a very good complement to our setup. I'm actually very pleased finding that already. Uh, we managed to clear out this room no problem. Did lead us into a chest. Our current gold is 206,000. Not too bad for the starting castle, I would say. Oof. Unfortunately, that bouncing Betty did push us back, and we took some damage from it. Please don't spin on me. Thank you very much. That dot damage should do the trick. That particular knight is going to go immune to damage shortly. That might be a problem. Uh, he's immune now. Oh, he still takes status effects build up, though. So we could just hit him a couple times, walk away, and we're already seeing the chicken god smile upon us because of the buffet coming into play. To our right, we do see Axis Mundi, or at least the entrance heading that way. 480 damage from Fireball. I'm going to fade out and try to avoid more of those. Poison was enough to take down that target, and that's three chicken and a mana potion all inside of one room. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Wow. This guy's going to do the same thing where he's going to go immune to damage, but by hitting him again, we re- Oh... Man, I refreshed the dot. He was going to die. Oh, well, we did the same thing. Dot should last long enough. Let me get away from him. There it is. A couple seekers left over, but that's no big deal. Uh, If I had to guess, I'm going to say 60, maybe 65, 70,000 gold for the teleporter. 81,000. What a ripoff. All right, I'll buy it. Uh, because I'm not planning on doing a full clear and we're going to do these kind of episodic new weapon showcases, I figure we'll go back to our old format where we were just, you know, clearing through zones. I'm going to need that teleporter next time. Yeah, we should have two more rooms that give us guaranteed relics inside this part of the castle. The one we found wasn't one of the guaranteed spawns, which is actually a really good thing for us. We have a very high 345 resolve still. So, oh, Room of Lights, hello. 
Don't mind if I do. You gonna be good to me today? That's pretty good. I feel like since we got that buffet, all of our health problems were immediately solved. Immediately solved. Uh, Mage is guarding the door as we enter this side of the castle. If we push this other one, he shouldn't be able to do too much. Nothing for us to loot, and the pizza gods are here! Not to be outdone, they saw all of this feasting going on and just wanted to take part in it. Uh, that guy should die. I like just kind of tapping the spell at him. Oh, and we can hover in place, kind of inflicting even more damage on our dot damage. And really, that's not bad at all. I wonder how our mana generation actually looks with this weapon. Because we're kiting around so much, we're not getting in consistent hits all of the time. So it's not gonna be something we're gonna be building like crazy. But I, th I think we hit enough. Ooh, couldn't get out of the way of that as it was cycling around. A few boxes in here for us to check. <laughs> oh, I've oh, taken 600 damage from a trap. Oof. Dead end over here. Let's head over to the left, see if we can find our way towards the boss. He's kind of running out of places that he can hide. But I don't have any, like, patterns or anything I'm looking for in this zone while we're looking for the boss. It's all just kind of guessing. Unfortunately, got a little too close to those mages. They did some pretty good hits to us. If I... A little lore room here. We can't see if it has any food. I keep expecting to carry some forward momentum when I slash for some reason. Uh, we also have an upward path. If we find the Stygian study, I might actually look around in there for a guaranteed relic as well. I was thinking, I was thinking about making that part of my uh, normal clear habit. Hey, good dot damage here. We attacked all of these guys above us without ever actually landing on their platforms. We were completely safe from damage there. And speak of the devil, here's the study. I guess we'll head up in here and poke around a little bit. By the teleporter, try to make this a normal thing that I do. Uh, hopefully we don't take too much damage. The enemies could be pretty difficult in here. Speak of the devil, two elites right as we enter. Holy moly. The one on the left will go immune to death. I'm skipping that. <laughs> Jeez, crap. That's hard. That's super hard. Uh, okay, I might just jump through this pretty quickly. Try to find the room. These guys are protected. So many, oh, so many elite affixes all in one place. We should be fine here. Laser through also kills the Seekers. And we'll get a little bit of food from those kills as well. This is the environmental effect. That still hasn't changed. We still have to contend with that. Oh, hello. What is this? Transmogrificator. That seems... Would that rejumble my character? I'm curious. What does this do? Randomize your weapon, spell, and talent. 7% more... Well, let me go find the boss. This character showcase is over. He was literally the next room. <laughs> well, it kind of sucks that I swapped my weapon out. We do still have a little poison. I didn't know what that item did. It's brand new. We didn't have the description. Now we know for next time. Uh, we do get filled up to full health, but I have the Ballistic Archer weapon now. One of the weapons I am the worst at. So we'll just try to make it work, I guess. Uh, we need to shoot it once it flashes to let us... Oh, got him. Oh, wait. Can you dodge those literally standing still? Hold on. Hold on. I need to play this character. We'll go ahead and get a little poison on this dude. I don't think he'll be able to hit me. No, he cannot. There's the crit. Finally, moving over to this side. If he does daggers again, I'm not going to move. This is something I have to move for. Let's do prismatic again right here. Uh, I also have the um, the shield thing. Oh, and it blocks both sides now. Whoa! Did the lancers get an, a big update? That was close. Holy crap. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Uh, just being honest. <laughs> I mean, I'll try, but... I'm so screwed. 
Well, off to a bad start. I locked the castle down because I wanted to bring another character in, and then I forgot to equip the poison weapons. So I was killing the boss with the normal blades and then realized my mistake and uh, lost again. So we're not gonna make any money off of this, but we're here for principle. This is Sir Glable. Uh I didn't say that right. Uh, we have hypergonadism. It won't actually affect the boss in any way. So my impression is that we kind of hit our limit with what our boss damage is going to look like. We're not really getting the... I'm going to try to fade for that. Wasn't able to hit the button in time. We're not getting the huge super crits that the assassin class would normally get. Instead, we're kind of incentivized to just continue to stack up this 10 poison. If we were able to get it to 20 poison as a special class effect, you know, because we're assassins or whatever, it would be really, really impressive damage. Ouch. But for right now, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, one way we can make it better is simply opening up on a target that is vulnerable, which I think we can set up with our stealth. Not 100% on that. First things first, I do have to survive, and that is proving to be a little difficult versus this boss today. We're going to go ahead and fade out there, get behind him. Yeah, that's a good way. But we didn't even get very many super crits. And as a lot of you guys know, we have a fully dexterity focused... Uh, tree. That's like the main thing that we've been trying to build. Uh, it looks like we are going to push the boss into phase two. We can't reapply poison here just yet. Going to try to dodge out of the way of these fireballs. Fade out as he's doing this stuff. And then get behind him with that vulnerability to make sure we're landing those critical hits. We have one hit left. Are we going to be able to pull this off? <laughs> I don't know, dude. We are keeping up the dot fairly well. Oh! So let's compare that to a normal assassin now, I guess. This will be a great test. With the assassin, we can just kind of go in and start swinging, and immediately we're already seeing, in my opinion, a pretty big damage difference. We've already taken a pretty big chunk out of the boss, and granted, we're not able to kite around as much. But it seems like the damage is a bit more direct. Like, look at those 1,700 crits. That's actually huge compared to what we were doing earlier. Uh, I'm going to fade here and do guaranteed crits on his back while he's casting. Unfortunately, got a little bit too close there. Oof. I'm going to have a hard time on this boss today. Here we go. Like, openings like that were just able to capitalize on so much faster with baseline assassin. Oof. Hey, those spikes are actually less damage than what the boss is dealing. That was good for me to do, believe it or not. Uh, I'm just gonna hover here as we're waiting for the ground to open up. We can do big damage now. That pushes the phase. I need to get the win. I gotta, I gotta show off. I can still do this fight. Hey, good job with that. We're gonna fade. Break these. We're in a decent spot now. Perfect. Perfect. Try to back up. Wasn't able to descend fast enough to dodge the knives. This could be sketchy. I'm going to fade. Got to get behind him. Perfect. Going to fade. Perfect. And then we'll just bounce on these as we're going over. Chilling. Going to fade. Oh, we got him. We got him right here. We got him right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoop. And here it is. So, what do you think? Do you think the poison blades are worth it? Do you like just cutting stuff with cold hard steel? Uh, let me know your opinion down in the comments. I like the idea of the poison. I feel like we even leaned into it a little bit with the amplification rune. Uh, I don't know. I, I think New Game Plus 12 is just kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's going to take some adjustments. Uh, but for now, we're going to retire our character here and take a look at one of the other brand new weapons in our next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. And that is an interesting character right there. Oh, the festive trait.